Hello and welcome to another episode of All Code Sucks. Today is actually a follow-up on last week's video uh, about Sequence Stir. If you didn't watch that one, I will link it in the description. I'll briefly show the same code so we get on the same page. Uh, this video had a lot of comments and a bunch of people had a few interesting suggestions, very clever suggestions, uh, but unfortunately, I'm going to show you in this video that they're actually worse. They seem like they're a really, really good idea, uh, but in reality, it just doesn't work out. Uh, anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the code from before. The entire problem with the other video is that if you have something like this, the type checker will accept it because strings are a sequence of stir. That's the other video. I go into more detail on there. I'm not going to reiterate that here. Um, and so a bunch of commenters pointed out that you can actually separate these two cases in your function by utilizing overloads. Um, so if you do from typing import overload, uh, you can make run command an overloaded function. Run command args stir, just in a second. Well, I mean, the title already spoils it, but. Uh, and you can have this arg sequence stir. Do it. And you can separate these two cases such that uh, when you directly pass a string in here, which you want to forbid, you can do something else uh, from a typing perspective. And what the commenters suggested is to use never uh, or no return. They are actually the same thing in Python's typing system. Uh, never was introduced as a, uh, I guess, more you know, easier to understand alternative naming. Uh, I'm going to use no return here just because I am on an older Python and um, I, well, I forgot to install my Py. <laughs> Let's actually do that real quick. Uh, I guess I could have upgraded Python while doing this, but anyway, uh, we're going to be in Python 3.12 and I'm pretty sure never, actually never might be in Python 3.12. I'm typing import never. I can't remember. Oh, it is in 3.12. Okay. Well then we'll use never, but it doesn't matter. Uh, never and no return are aliases. Uh, in the type system, so you can you can treat them the same. The idea here is that when args is passed as a string, uh, you would return this never type. Uh, and the thought from the commenters was that never is forbidden, and then the type checker would warn you about this and produce as an error. Unfortunately, uh, it just silently allows this. So that didn't actually change anything, and it's actually worse than that. Not only does it silently allow this, well, it doesn't necessarily silently allow if you were to try and print this, for instance, um, actually, it, <laughs> it, even, it even silently allows that. OK, well, and the problem here is, is how never uh, and no return are treated in MyPy in that they are essentially the same as like a raise, or uh, execution will never leave them. And in fact, what's even worse uh, is something like this. I may need to put it in a function. Actually, I don't even need to put it in a function. You can see this is complete nonsense. Definitely wrong by the type system. And if we comment this line out, MyPy will definitely complain about that line. You know, you cannot assign a string to an integer. Um, but just the presence of this call causes MyPy to stop type checking the rest of the file. <laughs> and this is because MyPy does not check unreachable code. Um, just, just period. Uh, I've actually run into this problem a bunch of times where I've accidentally made something unreachable and I go to try and like debug it. I'm like, what is, why, why can't I, you know, reveal type? No, it doesn't matter what the actual expression here is, but why, why I'm type, I'm putting reveal type. Why am I not getting anything out? And this is because my page just doesn't check unreachable code. Um, and so in this case, because we're passing a string here, we're getting back never, uh, this means that this is an, an, you know, a case that can never return or not execute past this. And so MyPy treats the rest of this code as unreachable and does not type check it. So this is really bad. <laughs> so be very careful uh, when using never and no return. And especially don't use it to try and solve this problem because it actually doesn't solve this problem. Um, and in fact, makes things worse. Um, one way that you can sort of get around this is there is an option to MyPy called warn unreachable. Um, and I haven't checked what Pyrite does. I don't use Pyrite very often. Uh, I, I tend to stick to MyPy. There is actually an option in MyPy which does make this an error to have unreachable code, uh, which is good. I, I actually really like this option when it works. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and so in this case, line 21 is right here. Um, and so MyPy is saying that everything after this is unreachable because of this uh, never or the, the no return here, which is really good. Um, unfortunately, I find that this option to MyPy is very, very buggy, uh, especially if you ever use try finally um, or for else or while else or uh, try else or um, any of any of the like uh, slightly more interesting branching strategies. In fact, like I think a for loop inside of a try finally is just, it, it usually produces uh, nonsense code here. And, and sometimes this unreachable is not actually the same case where MyPy wouldn't check it at all. And so it's a little bit, a little wishy-washy there. But I really like this option. I wish it were slightly more robust in how it was implemented. I think to actually implement it correctly though, you need to implement like a full, a full state machine of you know, possible traced paths through code execution, which is very hard, very, very difficult to do. Uh, and MyPy approximates this by treating all loops and uh, try accepts as sort of if statement branches. Um, and in reality, they're not quite that. And I think part of, the, part of the problem with finally is there's a lot of paths that have to go to finally, and MyPy just passes it twice. And as a result, ends up with a lot more things that can be treated as unreachable. But anyway, there's a long bug report about this that I've read too many times and admitted various cases that are simpler and simpler. But anyway, uh, long story short, like be careful with never um, and be careful when you've made unreachable code because uh, MyPy will not check it. <laughs> and warn unreachable can be helpful in some cases like this, uh, but double check that you're uh, your code's actually compatible with Warren Unreachable because there's there's a bunch of funky edge cases that might fight. Anyway, hopefully you found this interesting, and I will see you in the next one where we talk about some other uh, interesting code.